For the following mechanism, we have a piston, a cylinder, and link CP. When the cylinder rotates at an angle of velocity omega, point C makes a full 360 degree rotation. And we can also note that the cylinder moves vertically upwards and downwards and returns to the original position. We can find the instantaneous center of zero velocity for link CP by looking at different positions. At this position, we have a velocity vector at C acting tangent to the path upwards. And for the piston at P, we also have a velocity vector acting upwards. Now we can draw a perpendicular line to the velocity vector at C and a perpendicular line to the velocity vector at P. Note here, these lines are parallel, therefore they do not intersect. And in this case, link CP is only undergoing vertical translation since we have no instantaneous center for the link at this position. Now we can move to the next position making a 90 degree rotation. We can draw a velocity vector at C and a velocity vector at P and draw our perpendicular lines to the velocity vectors. Note here both of these intersect at point P, therefore the velocity vector at P is zero and the link CP will have zero angular velocity. Now we will move to the next position for link CP. We can draw a velocity vector at C, a velocity vector at P, then we draw our perpendicular line to the vector C, perpendicular line to the vector at P, then we note both of these intersect at some point. And this will be our instantaneous center of zero velocity for the link. 